the Ayurveda word can be explained as Ayu means life. Veda means to know. So that is the knowledge of life. So what is the life? Right from the point of the birth of a person to the death. Death, that is one thing. But earlier nine months in the womb of a mother, that is also intrauterine life. And before that, the sperm from the father and ovum from the mother, those are also living, coming from the living person. So that life is a continuous process for many, many years earlier, and it will continue like that. It is not only related to the, a particular person, that body and that mind. It is having that connection to the earlier life also. Also, it is connected to the environment. That is to be considered. So Ayurveda, is, that is one. Though it is formed, born, we can say, many thousand years back. But written scripture, we found it 3,000 years back. And it is known as Charaka Sanhita, which is the first medical book of the world. And later on, there are many additions. And that information is there. That Ayurveda is basically a preventive aspect. How to maintain your body and mind, a balanced state. Because there are ups and downs due to the internal environment, due to the external environment, due to the functioning of the mind, considering many aspects of the happening in the person. So balancing every day, balancing every moment is important. Because Ayurveda says there is a moving energy, you can say nervous system. There is a conversion energy, you can say it is a pit, digestion, different enzymes, different hormones. And ultimately the whole body tissues are kept together. That is known as kapha. So these three energies are controlling the whole body function and mind. And that balancing is important. And for that balancing, the advice is you have to take particular type of food according to your choice, particular type of exercise, some relaxation, rest, and perform your duties. To perform your duties is very important. You should be engaged in that. And whatever duties towards yourself, to duties towards your family, duties towards your society, to your nation and to the whole world, to the human being. That you have to do it. Understand the environment, perform your duties, fulfill your all desires, and ultimately be happy and you can get the moksha, that is the salvation. So you have enjoyed your life, you are happy, and you are ready to go. So that is advice of Ayurveda. It is not only related to the disease and treatment. There is one part of it, 